do in my budget. Leave me alone. But anyway, we're going to send this to YouTube. Uh, so this is a theory on real-time live streaming audio translation via connected services. If anybody sees this video and is interested in working on this with me, I would very much like to pursue this idea as I believe it has a lot of merit. And I think that it's something that could be possibly done. Uh, there would be some cost involved with it, but I think it would be interesting to at least experiment with on a light level. So you have somebody who's streaming video on the internet. And they use their mic and they can talk into it like I am right now in my stream. And what could happen, well, right now the mic audio is being routed into broadcasting software. I'm using XSplit on Windows. I also have OBS set up on my Mac. And that goes out to the Twitch channel through the API that's connected through XSplit or OBS. Um, then people come and they watch the show, right? So they're like down here, like, hey, I'm going to watch your show. But what could also happen at the same time is I could have some speech-to-text thing running on my computer, right? And if I have that running... Um, I could have a background service that's that's reading that text stream, right? And that's parsing that text stream and building out, and we could set up a, a section that like listens for breaks in in the stream, like this. And every time there's a break, it could chop that and send it off to a Google Translate API. The API of Google Translate will pick that up, translate it into the language that we target when we specify in our call out to the API, and it'll return back um, some text in JSON that we can then use to send off to a Lambda in AWS. They'll use the, the poly speech. You can set up a Lambda and, and do text to speech, but we could change the language. And then we could store that, if we record it, into region-based uh, S3 storage based on the region of where we think that that language you know, will get the most traffic to, so it has a little latency. Uh, that file um, could then be set up and queued up in a Twitch widget. So Twitch has these widgets that live in extension panels. Uh, there's one on my channel, if you scroll down, uh, that shows like the leaderboards and stuff. We could probably set something up that has like an audio. And even if they didn't, we could put like a link on the Twitch channel so people could click it and it could pop open. Either way, somehow we get like a JavaScript app uh, to be loaded from the channel that somebody can click. And when they click that, it'll it'll have a way of authenticating into that S3 storage and getting that stream file out, and they'll have play and play controls. So it'll probably just have play since it's a live stream, and it'll start to stream the audio that's being saved in the S3 storage. And so now, if I'm in Spain or I'm in Portugal or I'm over in Ukraine or I'm in South Africa, well, they probably speak English. If I'm in another country with another language. And the person who's running the channel has set and configured this part up. Uh, this would have to be repeated for each language, um, and maybe this part too. Now that I think about it, but anyway, like I think that there's a way to have live on-demand translation through these services through using the Google. It's really the Google Translate API and connecting that to AWS uh, Lambda and Poly. Um, there's probably some people that would like think of this and try to figure out a way to profit off of it. I would much rather we just find a way to build this and build it quickly and set it up somehow and test it out maybe with Twitch because I think it has so much value. So if you see this video and you know other people that are into any of these services, uh, I ask that you share it with them. I would really like to try this out and, and I think it would be really cool. So thanks a lot. I'm going to stop that. I'm going to highlight that part of this and then I'm going to go back into doing tests on my show. But that's something I thought about today or last night i was like laying down trying to go to bed and these things like they just like they just go and they, i don't know i can't explain it. i have ideas like this all day long like this is this is you want to see like inside my brain this is like what i think about when i'm going to get coffee it's like oh wow i can totally connect all these things and make this it's it's how i live all right <sighs> that was like a rant